<laughs> three seconds in, you weren't kidding. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I first have to say I am sorry I was on such a long hiatus. I had some uh, issues going on. I lost like 10 good friends of mine who all passed away. I lost my mom, my dad. They both passed away. And I came about 15 minutes from passing away myself. So uh, thank you, Lee McDonald, for saving me. Um, this is a brand new season, season seven of the Cone Zone. I'm very excited what we have going on this year. I've got some great guests coming up uh, all throughout the season. So a couple of tweaks here and there. So uh, hopefully you at home will enjoy those as well. So as normal, I need to get into these right away because I have a lot to go over. So one of the first things I want to bring in is since I was on such a long hiatus, uh, there's a lot of material I couldn't get to over the past uh, eight years. So we're going to, I'm going to fill you in on all of that as well. So the beginning of the show will be a, a, a topic I like to call what's weak this week. And that's just the material I couldn't get to in the past. So without further ado, let's get season seven kicked off. There we go. All right. There we go. Thank you so much. Headline Castleberry, Florida. Again. 20-year-old Jeremy Paul Decker and his 18-year-old girlfriend Sarah Nicole Hand picked up a crying female eating a bag of candy outside a local gas station. According to the story, the trio went back to the couple's nearby apartment. Sarah and Jeremy asked the distraught girl numerous times if she wanted to have a threesome. She repeatedly de declined. Allegedly, Jeremy really didn't want to get his freak on, so he pulled out a gun, stuck it to her temple, and made the woman perform sex acts on both him and his girlfriend. Following the afternoon delight of forced sex, the couple agreed to let the frightened girl go, but only if she promised to return later that night for some more at gunpoint rape. <laughs> she obviously agreed so she could get the hell out of there. She later returned to the apartment, but this time with the police, where their couple was arrested for sexual assault with a weapon, kidnapping, possession of marijuana, and possession of meth paraphernalia. <laughs> meth in Florida? What? <laughs> Jeremy claimed he's innocent, and the, quote, crazy lady got a rape kit done. Okay, I'll play along, Jay, but if we put the victim under a black light and one drop of your stupid juice is anywhere on or in her, we get to throw you in the... Florida penitentiary rules where you'll get to see what having a loaded gun in your face truly means. <laughs> Headline Minnesota. Sharon Kruger, 36, was arrested for lewd conduct as she was caught masturbating in a McDonald's children's play area while using her son's Transformer Happy Meal toy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing Sharon thought Dilt Optimus Prime was a little tense and needed some strange to help him snap out of his funk. <laughs> On a positive note, it's a good thing Sharon only had one kid, or the DP with Bumblebee would have gone down. <laughs> My advice, let's keep Sharon away from McDonald's when they're running their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle promotion, <laughs> so the 18-year-old burger-flipping manager doesn't have to explain to the children what a coming-out-of-your-shell gangbang means. Headline Atlanta, Georgia. The NBA's Atlanta Hawks hosted a swipe right night promotion encouraging fans to use the dating app Tinder while watching the team take on Memphis. My question becomes, who scored more? The Hawks against the Grizzlies or the fans with Grizzlies? <laughs> <laughs> Headline my dressing room about 20 minutes ago. As I was prepping, I saw a TV ad for a CurvesConnect.com, a website for the big girl inside all of us. <laughs> Sign up is easy, and tonight, with a bag of flour to find the wet spot, you can have Amy Schumer on all fours. <laughs> Let, me <laughs> Let me ask a rhetorical question. Living in this idiotic, technological world we find ourselves in, do we rely on the Internet for everything? The reason I ask, I am so sick of all these online dating advertisements. I remember the good old days, if I wanted to stick my winky into something stinky, I actually had to leave the house. <laughs> sure, I had to subject myself to torture of some shitty cover garage band, but everyone had to put in some effort and communicate face to face with each other. What a concept, huh? Nowadays, all you need is a smartphone, a quantity of pictures of yourself from 2006, the ability to swipe right with your finger, 
and you too control for trolls on the World Wide Web. Now, I know all the hipster douches just tweeted out, fuck you, old man, that's a different generation, hashtag he doesn't get it. Relax, I'm not going to clown on you if you need the internet to help you find a mate. Calm down, okay? With that said, online dating. Forgive me, but I have to throw my two cents in here. When I did the research for this topic, I couldn't believe how many online dating sites there actually are. From what I gather, eHarmony, Match, Tinder, and Plenty of Fish seem to have the socially impaired uh, single scene monopolized. But you know me, I dug deeper than a rush hour driver in his left nostril on the highway and found, a, and found sites that had me scratching my head harder than an accountant with chronic dandruff. I'll never forget the classic quote that appeared in an OurTime.com television commercial spot. For those who don't know, OurTime is a dating website for people over 50 years of age. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, that's a bit discriminatory, don't you think? What if my fetish happens to be getting my Cialis freak on with menopausal blue hairs whose tits resemble two sunny side-up eggs hanging from thumbtacks? <laughs> There's a visual you can take home with you. And who are you to tell me, no, if I'm looking for a liver-spotted elderly who drives 20 and a 40, and when I yank the oxygen hose out of her nose, flops around the bed like a freshly caught trout as my self-confidence skyrockets as I still think I'm a stud. But I digress. Back to the intelligence quote of a lifetime. In the advertisement, the two actual members... Christy and Terry, yeah, like those are their real names, slat gleefully while hupped up on ginkgo biloba when Christy playfully piped in with, and I quote, it was nice to find somebody that was my age that wasn't looking for somebody that was 35 years old. <laughs> Holy fucking low-hanging balls, you can't be serious. It may be time to commit old Christy to the retirement home as apparently senility is seriously kicking Meemaw's old leather ass. Every geezer who's running out the clock that I've ever talked to would never go for a 35-year-old in her prime. <laughs> oh, God, no. Now, I know this comment will keep Christy and all the other delusional nags awake at night, but I think you have it a bit twisted. Your old man would take a 35-year-old every single time. But conversely, a 35-year-old wouldn't look in his direction if he had a three-foot green mohawk and was juggling bowling balls of fire, okay? And by the way, Kay, if you're watching, if Terry has a nest egg that's collecting interest and he awakens from his Bill Cosby intern roofie coma and he does find a 30-something to spank his old pud, get ready to be punted to the curb like a used bedridden futon, okay, stupid? What the hell is FarmersOnly.com? <laughs> farmers Only? Really? What decade am I in? For those who don't know, Farmers Only is for, well, Farmers Only, I guess. That's a bit discriminatory, don't you think? What if my fetish happens to be getting my bishop choked by a corn-growing hillbilly who lost her virginity during the drunken weekend with cousin Cooter, the inbred, oil-stained car mechanic. <laughs> and who are you to tell me, no, if I'm looking to make sweet love to Aunt B in a pool of animal blood immediately after she lops off a chicken head or after she plugs a bullet into Porky Pig's brainstem so we can enjoy fresh breakfast bacon? <laughs> but I digress. The interesting thing about Farmers Only in the television ads, all the women are hot and young, wearing Daisy Duke shorts, but in reality, the real Farmers Only women made Gemma Teller look like Ariana Grande. <laughs> the youngest female profile that I found was from a 28-year-old who could have played linebacker for the New York Jets, and when she smiled, looked like a jack-o'-lantern on the front porch in mid-November. So basically, the, this site is nothing but a spin-off of our time, but geared toward Duck Dynasty hicks who think riding a mechanical bull on a Saturday night is a real hoot. <laughs> Another curious dating website, the original and largest millionaire dating site, MillionaireMatch.com. Real millionaires, real luxury. Jesus Christ on a caviar spoon, are we serious? 
This is apparently only for millionaires. Yeah, okay. That's a bit discriminatory, don't you think? <laughs> what if my fetish happens to be looping up a roll of quarters while pretending a gold-digging chick's cornhole is an old Frogger machine from the 80s? And who are you to tell me, no, if I want to catfish some sugar daddy seeker into thinking I'm Warren Buffett's grandson <laughs> as I baby batter seal her cartoon rolling dollar sign eyeball shut in the back of my rented for the night Hummer limousine. <laughs> but I digress. According to this site, the last time I checked, they've signed up 3,958,700 plus attractive millionaire singles. <laughs> well, of course they have. Because in this economy, millionaires are around every corner, aren't they? Yep. My obvious common sense question here is, if you're a millionaire, do you really need some stupid website to find someone? Couldn't you just go to some trendy 20-something hotspot nightclub hole and accidentally drop a couple of ATM receipts in the middle of the dance floor? Or even better, <coughs> cough all over yourself while doing a monologue on television. Have one of your gravy train lackeys hold up your black stainless steel credit card while shouting, did someone rich drop this? <laughs> Trust me, when the word gets around that you have seven or more figures in the bank, you'll get more attention than Brooklyn Decker dressed as Wonder Woman at Comic-Con. <laughs> For those who aren't millionaires and who have to scrape the bottom of the desperate scum pool of life barrel, Craigslist at one time had a personal <laughs> ad section. <laughs> And yes, I said had, before our nosy government stepped in to shut it down. Just a side note before I continue. I find it ironic that we have government officials who are fucking around behind their spouses' backs, but yet feel the need to shut down a website. Trust me, fellas, you should get your Newt Gingrich's lives in order before you start telling hardworking taxpayers who just want to have a threesome with a total stranger how they should be living theirs, okay? To give you an idea of what a Craigslist personal had offered, Here's a beauty. For the record, yes, this was a real ad. Quote, I want to pee on you. Let this nice looking, fit, healthy guy pee on you. I don't have a ton of experience with this, but I'm willing to provide a nice, warm pee experience for you. I'm not a creep, weirdo, or freak. <laughs> I just want to explore this little taboo fantasy I have with a woman, not men, sorry. There you go, ladies. What time do you want Sir Peas a lot to pick you up for your date? <laughs> and just a quick note, ladies, you may want to keep your eyes and mouth closed during any awkward pauses throughout dinner. <laughs> and if he pours you a lemonade, ask SpongeBob Pea Pants to gulp some first. <laughs> and to be safe, you may want to pass on the homemade chocolate souffle, but hey, that's just me. As I proceed, I don't want all the urine-loving brethren out there to be excluded. There is actually a website for you as well. Alt.com is specifically designed for people into bondage, S&M, and kink. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'll never forget when the movie Fifty Shades of Grey was released in theaters and all the monkey-see, monkey-do soccer moms came out and want to be dominated in bed. Then after the crisp, Farley lookalikes welded their asses with floggers. They went on to file rape and sexual assault reports to their local police. Just a quick memo to all the June Cleavers who thought it would be progressive to slobber on a ball gag as your nipples were clamped up to car batteries and you were hogtied like a pig at a Filipino roast. <laughs> Just stick to what you know. Morning pill popping, 24-hour Starbucks vendors, checking Facebook updates every four seconds, and parading your trophy kids around the mall with the rest of your bleach blonde bitch crew, okay? <laughs> Let me wrap this up with a bit of advice for the socially inept out there. Guys, if you see a woman's ad and her profile pic is of a pet, I'd probably skip that one. That's a bedridden George the Animal Steel. <laughs> oh yeah, curvy means fat. <laughs> Plump means fat. Fluffy means fat. Extra padding means fat. Thick means fat. See, these guys get it. And BBW means holy shit. 
ladies, if you see a dork's ad and his shirtless profile pic is him looking suave, so you take a chance and say hi, and he immediately texts you a pic with his junk in his hand <laughs> as his shaft is pulled so tight to his balls to try to appear bigger than he actually is, and his pee hole looks like a ball of raw hamburger resting on a motorcycle helmet. Yeah, block this shithead, all right? In conclusion, <laughs> in conclusion, I have to ask, in this PC culture, is there any particular group of people who doesn't have their own dating website? From fullfiguredating.com to christianmingle.com to jdate.com and all the travesties I previously mentioned. Are we that scared in this country that we feel as though we can't leave anyone out? I'm surprised there isn't some shark tank entrepreneur out there who hasn't thrown together wheelie.com, you know, <laughs> a place for cripples to get their Stephen Hawking freak on. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me in the least while watching reruns of Seinfeld at 2 in the morning and up pops the commercial for trailerparktrash.com as Larry the Cable Guy and Tanya Harding are necking one out. <laughs> That's my take, but then again, what the hell do I know? Yeah. Yeah, all right. We got it out. We got it out. <laughs> Tonight, uh, my next segment I'm going to do for the rest of the season is called 10 Good Minutes. Uh, it's where I go out and I interview somebody on the street or good friends who's done the show before. One of my friends that passed away uh, while I was on hiatus was our good friend, uh, Autumn Marks. She's down here. She was in the band Cherrywood. Um, she was a sweet, sweet girl. She loved the show. She was very good to the show, always good to me. And uh, so tonight, instead, for my 10 good minutes, I'm going to do a little tribute to Autumn. So enjoy that tribute. When we come back, we'll meet our panel. We'll be right back. Yeah.
beautiful I band. Know, I know. Not that I would, uh, you know. <laughs> Speaking from a guy's Thank point, you. are they here? Any of them here tonight? Uh, yeah. They are? No. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> in spirit. They're here in spirit, that's right. Yes, very that's busy right. weekend for us, so. Right, yeah. you guys just, I just caught you guys last week at the uh, Ragnarok concert yes, down, yes. At, uh, down at the uh, Azalon Theater. Yep, the Metal Fest. Rocked. That went very well. Rocked. Thank you. And I'm going to play a couple of uh, songs on that for those of you watching at home. Right on. So uh, you guys are great. It. You guys are heavy. It's awesome. Love it. Love it. I want to compare, uh, and we'll compare the other bands here too. Uh, your band before this one was Cherrywood. You yes. were very mellow. Now you're now you're just like. Rip what do, what do you like? Off. That's right. Kick people in the scrotum <laughs> and take their names. Don't come too close. What do you uh, do? You prefer doing the more slower? Or do you prefer doing the louder? The louder, heavier. Oh, yeah. Loud and heavy, baby. Definitely That's heavy, me. Baby. Yes. Yeah. Last night I was uh, flyering the Buffalo Rose, right? And uh, I do my thing. I, you know, I'm pretty, very pretty social. talkative. Yes, very social. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> to say that's being nice. Yeah, Thank okay. you. <laughs> See? Um, I, I went up to this group of guys. They were sitting at a table. They were in a booth, and I, I just kind of, you know, slid one guy right over and sat right down. Hey, I'm Autumn. I'm with Candelario. Blah blah. And this guy, he said, "Oh, that's great." And I said, "Here, have a flyer. We're going to be here, in, you know, in a month or so, and we're going to play." And this guy, he's like, well, what kind of music is it? And I said, well, you know, we're metal. This, this is what they're doing here now. We dig it. It's cool. We're excited to play. And he says, oh, that's OK. You keep your flyer. Mm. Uh, are you so serious? My, I am not kidding. I am not kidding you. My jaw hit the floor. I could not believe it. And I said, well, what's your problem? <laughs> you know, then my, you. my wall went up. I'm like, what the yeah, hell are you talking outside about? Right, right now. Seriously, Dude, let me get my this. boys, and you're going to get your ass kicked. Dude, if you're watching this right now, I just want to say you're a cock. <laughs> All right, there you go. Right, thanks. Thank you. That's right. And, uh, you know, I, I totally had to defend myself against this guy because I was a woman, you know, in metal. It, it was crap. Uh, and I said, crap. you know what, you just, you just take this flyer, even if you throw it on the floor when I leave, just take it. Let me give it to you and uh, just show up. Let me prove you wrong. Right. You know. We're, Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. You know. That's that's all. I, that's all you can do. Yeah. And it's you know you kind of do just go. Oh, thanks. <laughs>
garden in the middle of the night. Oh, you are a vampire. I may never see the light. Oh, you are a vampire, and I may never see the light. I got the way Thank you so much. Autumn. Thank you. I love that one. Beautiful, and she can sing. There's a little inside joke that we have going here. I've known Autumn for a long time. Autumn is my show mistress. Yeah. So, yeah. what better way? Where is it? Where is my girlfriend? There she is. Camera two. Hi, honey. Don't look. <laughs> but my... That's right. She's yeah, right. her husband's band mistress, so you figure the hell whatever that is about. Uh, swingers, there we go. Swingers, yeah, I'm down. I'm down. The connection. My quote of the week. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, yeah. My quote of the week comes from a gay rights supporter, Stephen Bonnet from Denver, okay? Uh -huh. Stephen and his partner, David, were out protesting the Dr. Laura show, okay? Yeah. Fucking bitch. <laughs> oh. uh, sorry. <laughs> Sarah, this is cable TV. I hate her. Nazi. The, sorry. Stephen told reporters, quote, I don't like what she says about gays being pedophiles and that children should be kept away. My son is going to be hurt by it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure your son will look at you swallowing a meat sword as normal, oh. okay? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> my panel members tonight, my first guest, her podcast kicks off May 27th, and you can find her on Facebook under Mimi Luna. Help me welcome Luna. Hi. There we go. And my second guest tonight, you can also find on Facebook. She does a bunch of little editorials on Facebook as well. Angie Snyder Cobb joins us. Yeah. All right. It is great to have you all here. Got that hyphen in there. That's good. I like it. See, I know. Get the old and the new. And the new. I there like we it. go. I like uh, it. Let's go ahead and kick off. Uh, I'm going to start uh, Luna. Talk us, tell us a little bit about your podcast that's coming up before we get into the topic tonight. Sure. So my podcast comes out May 27th. It's uh, You can find it on iTunes. Uh, I work out of House of Pod, which is right off of Curtis in 26th. Uh, great team. If you're ever interested in starting a podcast, you're more than welcome to stop by and get your career started uh, but basically my show ba is, is based on local talent people that have gifts and talents I, I kind of like to shine a, a light on talented people that don't normally have a, a you know a way to get out there and I want to give them that that place where they can go ahead and shine so. that's exactly I'm in the same boat so we're Love all it. we're all doing this we got we got to promote local talent Amen. The talent pool has died. It has died. We've and got to look. We've got to liven it up back up. Speaking of which, I just want to go ahead and focus on real quick. Kay. My friend Josiah, Josiah G. He actually, uh, he designed this bow tie for uh, for me to be able to wear tonight. Um, Sweet. So he's actually a local talent. He's a fashion designer, and uh, you can find him also on Facebook. His name is Josiah G. So there you go. Cool. Josiah G. There it is. Excellent. <laughs> Angie, tell us about what you do online. Well, I I decided to 
put my wits against this big online dating machine, and <laughs> and I, I decided to, to um, vlog my experience with it all. And, you know, it has its fits and starts, but that's kind of a bit of funny comedic uh, experience, I guess. And I've been trying my hand at stand up. So how's that going? It's, you, you I love it. I, um, I perform on Sunday nights at Legends of Aurora over at 225 oh, in Highland. Exactly and saying. then another spot that's in the area on Tuesday nights called Night Shift. So Ooh. scary, Very fun, cool. exciting. It's, you know. well, I love it. I, yeah. uh, it's my, my brother, he does the show quite a bit. He got banned from the comedy works. I don't oh, know how the I hell that's it. humanly oh. possible. <laughs> that's, but... unfortunate. that's unfortunate. That's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> Have you tried doing something like that? Comedy works, things like that? Well, that, I'm, re I'm not there yet. Okay. I am in my mind, uh, but I don't know that everyone else agrees. So I'm just waiting until we all get in lockstep with me. Just get some more material and get a better process. You know, I've been funny and trying to be funny and not organized funny, you know, my whole life. So that's a, a, a skill that I'm learning and I'm excited about. But that is definitely on my radar for 2019. So keep your eyes open. So I will absolutely. definitely be there. I will be. Catch her on Facebook. Get her. Go see her live. Yeah. All yeah. right. Let's yeah. up. Exactly. Let's get into this topic tonight. I want to, uh, and I want to start with uh, with Luna here as well. You are a lesbian. Am I? I think so. That's what they tell me. Was it the bow tie? It was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And the rack that I can't have. So that's what. That's another thing. That I try to tuck it away for special occasions. But <laughs> now, are yes, you guys are you guys online dating as well? Do you guys do any of that? I have never tried it. You've never tried it. Yes, yes. I am. I am deeply immersed. What are you? Uh, what site are you on? Well, I do Tinder because everyone does. I was um, that was going to be my first question. Do you, so is that any good? I've heard a lot of horror no, stories. No, uh, there's a lot of horror stories. They're all fucking true. Every <laughs> one of them. Um, they. All, uh, I just. I heard a song today, you guys, that remind me of my Tinder experience or my Tinder life, and that's a um, hundred bad days make a hundred good stories, and that is what Tinder is for me. So. You know, I, I, I used to get caught up and poor me. I wasn't the fat girl, but I wasn't doing it right. I wasn't getting the people and that same people didn't show up, you know, that, that presented themselves. So there's just right. all this fun with it. Make it fun rather than get serious about it. So, so, uh, so Tinder like, and Bumble and OK Cupid. OK Cupid. Because I, like, okay. I like the ladies too. So Excellent. Yeah. Oh. I love the ladies all the time. Oh, man. <laughs> I like LL Cool J. I'm the LL yes. Cool J of the lesbian community. I love so. it. Boy, what's up? I'm uh, kidding. No, I'm not. What I would pay to see that <laughs> action, huh? <laughs> Holy cow. I can't get a date for the life of me, honestly. Same. You gotta so. be, are you Same. serious? Same. I exactly. think it has a lot to Same do with experience. me, like, because I don't go out. So I, I, don't, I don't expect for a lesbian to just show up at my door. Oh, no? just start, like, the UPS? Like, I wish it worked that way. Max at I'm going to have to start, ax, uh, you know, getting it delivered or something. <laughs> Is that what Tinder is? That's that? what Tinder is, babe. That's what we want Dang Tinder to be. Dang. Is a dial a bitch. Like I kinda want a soulmate, but hey, whatever. T each their T own. ain't it. Tinder well, you know, ain't it. And and you can ask these guys here. My crew has been with me for oh my god, twenty years. I was the epitome of single. I was like, I'm not getting married. Screw that what? shit. That's not for me. And when I wasn't looking for it, I met mine. I met my, my significant other. I love your significant and, uh, other. Miss Laura Sue. Miss Laura Sue. Woo! Sexy. My my new wife. That's so weird to say now. She's gorgeous. Is she your new she's wife? Beautiful. She's amazing. New wife. How yeah. long until she's your old wife? Uh, the the, the old lady <laughs> kicks in, I think, at a decade. Isn't okay, that what the, uh, ten, 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 about 10 okay. years? I don't know. The sister? Old lady friend sister? Sister? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until LA Guns. Oh, these, you, nah, that's an inside joke. If you're, if, you're a, if you're a fan of the show, you'll know what that means. That's Do I have to explain that now? No. No? no. Don't explain it? Okay. <laughs> I actually pulled out, so online, so online dating, so Tinder is... Yeah, I'm on a few of them, but Tinder is... What's, uh, are you on like Match, anything like that? No, I'm not putting that kind of effort. You know how many questions no? are on that fucking site? <laughs> you guys, and they, they're deep. They're deep. Right? They're they're too much. They want to know too much. So no, I'm so not about that vulnerable the, life. So you're uh, so this Tinder thing. Like I said, I've never been on it. I don't know what. I've heard I've, about it. I have I've a heard lot about of gay male friends who, who had tell me a lot of horror stories about it. Um, is that so grinder? No, you're right. Is that's grinder. Yeah. That's grinder. See, I am so out of loop. That's a, a little <laughs> different. So out of the loop. Almost the same. Because grinder's all gay, right? Grinder's a little more classy. But I've I've heard them mention Tinder. Tinder. It's for <laughs> men and women, right? So, right. It's for so, both. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just uh, yeah, I've heard a, a lot about that. Like you just uh, you get a lot of repeats, a lot of weirdos. I, Weirdos? Well, I want to be. I want to be the weirdo in the relationship. So, <laughs> I mean, I can't have any competition. Right. So we were going to go on Tinder to try to find a hot little twenty-four-year-old, but uh, you know, we haven't done that yet. <laughs> Good luck. 
she all, I mean, you could try, but she's already honed in on her age group and you're yeah. not in it, babe. Yeah. So the biggest challenge I heard you talk a lot about that was, you know, those fat girls yeah. having all what? kinds of euphemisms. Hey, to hey, hide. big girl. Big I big love girl. a fat girl, like P-H-A-T yeah. -E all I'm day. I'm all inner big girl, okay? <laughs> I'm all inner big girl. You're inner, yeah. I say, you look, you I guys are fabulous. I am inner out big out girl. Of, I love it. Out of I, cage. Same. Yeah. So, I, so here's our challenge is hat fishing. You motherfuckers and your hat fish, every picture, all hats, Do you're what? bald. I don't know. You're bald. That's it. The oh my God, fish. are you bald? Hat Me? fish. <laughs> hat fish? I'm talking about hat fishing in Tinder. You're talking about BBW. Jesus, I am way out of the loop. I don't so know what I'm going to educate you. I'm going to educate you. Okay, do it. If every picture you got a hat on, uh -huh. then you're bald. Oh, yeah. You're bald. So men have all kind of ways to hide that they're bald. Those close-ups of forehead only, down to their feet, they're bald. Women do it Hiding too, though. Oh, yeah. I'm just throwing some shade problem. back. This is why I stay in the house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's That's why you just turn it into she was humor. All, she's all face. She's probably about 300 pounds. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm like, you know we, what? We got I'm moves just, is what we're I'm saying. I'm going to love we got myself moves. for the rest of my life. So. Yeah, we got moves. Everyone's got to... You know, and the and the bald thing is kind of a moment. Yeah. Right. So on this on, on Tinder, have you ever had if you punch somebody up and they came over and you're like, you are not what your picture, you're not. Then you every just time. send them packing. Yeah, yeah it happens every time. I just called time. you a lift. It's gonna be here in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> nice try though. No, no, no. Good get riddance. back in the lift you came in. That's what I would say. <laughs> no, nah, I'd pay for it honestly. Get off. Just the to property. get them hell off the property. Yeah. <laughs> I found some. I found some. Uh, I found according to uh, Pew Research Center. Pew. Like, like P-U? P-E-W. Pew. Oh, okay. Online dating, a pew. There's a, there's a joke in there. I haven't found it yet. So right, it said, fi it said 50 per 15% of adults use an online dating app. 15%? I just That just seems low to me. It does. I would, I would think yeah. that that's so Maybe 15% admit to it. No, no. I was going to say, the other 85% are lying? Yeah. No, uh, the other 85% yeah. are in your messenger, messenger inbox on that Facebook trying to get it for free. So right, there They're you go. just sending you D-pics. I was going to say, how many dick pics <laughs> have you guys received in. In, the last, uh, in the last year? Uh, Un unsolicited? You know yeah. why I haven't? <laughs> Well, well I don't download that fucker. ladies, right? I just don't. I don't download. Big distinction. I will not. I refuse. It, get the you want to look? Away with I, I don't download the applications. Where is that? Right. I not down with it, no. Oh, that's why I sent you I sent you a message. You never got it. That's why. <laughs> it <laughs> wasn't a dick you, pic, Was I that swear. you and every other 700 <laughs> freaking message I got? He did, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, w I was in Blackhawk, and I drove by you. No, you, you didn't. Yes, you were with a blonde girlfriend of yours. <laughs> and I drove by you, and I was going to honk, but I was like, I don't want to be that guy. Did you? <laughs> I swear to God, it was in Blackhawk. You were over by you were over by uh, one of the true. casinos. I'm not going to mention the name. I don't want to get in trouble. We looked for you. We I looked for you. Did you see the yellow Camaro that passed you? I. <laughs> we no. Okay. No. no but you were, I, I you mean, were, you're not lying. You're telling the truth. Yes. You were with. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I were on There's TV. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> but no, I drove by you, and you were with some tall girl, and I looked out the window, yeah. and I, I looked like it's a my creamer. friend Megan, actually, my Megan Rippentrop, yeah. Megan. She did my hair tonight, actually. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. gorgeous. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yeah, she was a She's little... She's an amazing uh, friend, yeah. She was a uh, little tall drink of water. <laughs> I'll let her know that. I'm yeah. sure she's going to watch, so... Is she watching? She'll, you'll, you can tell her straight to the camera, hey. Her, her boyfriend <laughs> might not like it, though. Ah, <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> right, honey? <laughs> It's now the old lady time. She's like, yeah, you're an asshole. <laughs> so anyway, 33% uh, say they've never gone on a date with someone they met on site. I would 33%. say that's also low. You think that's low? I think yeah. that's high. No. Why I... are you on these sites if you're not going out with anybody? I because just want... they don't. I, you, okay, so my experience has been why I'm on this, web, you know, why I created this online dating in Denver series is because mm -hmm. um, I'm in a hiatus because people wouldn't go. We'd go, meet, and they wouldn't show up. We do all the talking, all the number exchanging, and then they just don't come. So is this is this basically just somebody that's attention seeking? Is I that, think they're insecure. 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 Have you ever seen I Catfish? Don't know the, the show Catfish? I think it's a, a lot of insecurity. I think it's people who like they really want to get out there, but then they they get to that point and they're just like ah, you know. So right. I don't know. I'm just I'm not speaking from experience because <laughs> I've never done this, but I'm assuming that this probably has a lot to do with it. So okay, so uh, so not, yeah, that, that's exactly right. And now you said you are on there. Have you had any of this where you show up somewhere and every time, up? every time? One really? time it was a girl, a woman showed up. Uh -huh. We went on one date, the intro date, the meet, and right. then an official date, which was hilarious. Tell, um, tell the story. Tell the story. Well. Um, 
we went out to stand up comedy on New Talent Night, you guys. I wanted to check out the scene and I thought it should be a perfect date to go on. So um, she suggested it and timing was perfect. Sim simpatico, I thought that was very cool. Simpatico. So I assume she had been there. <laughs> She'd been there before. She gets the general vibe of a comedy show. And we get in, we're, we're not late. We sit down, the house lights are up, we're looking at the menu and we're chatting about what we're gonna get. What two items are you gonna get? And I'm like, nothing fattening. And she's like, well, I don't know about anything greasy. And so we, you know, we talk that kind of craziness. And then uh, we didn't decide and now the lights are down. Okay, I the got lights. The whole fucking shebang. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. Like, this is me. Uh, I'm gonna eat like a big girl. I got an inner big girl I got to eat, so. <laughs> oh yeah, we this were eating. This isn't gonna work, we gotta go now. Oh yeah, we, we were eating it. We we're just discussing the details of it. So. The lights go down, and now it's dark, and the, the MC is on the stage, you guys, and the show is started. And you know those ninjas, those ninja bartenders and servers that go in there, they show up out of fucking nowhere, just under they your peripheral. Right, up, right, right up. under your periphery, though. So it's not like they even inf interfere with your show. You never even have to, have to look at them. <laughs> and that happened right up here. It ninja me first. And I was like, okay, <laughs> did, were we going to get the chips and salsa? Like, Ooh, you can't here. do chips and I'm salsa. Down here. It's sticky. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm down here talking chips and Next. salsa. Yeah. We were at the, we went to a comedy we club and, and same thing. We were at the comedy club. Comedy works downtown. I forget who. I think we were seeing John Lovitz or something. And we ordered some food and uh, I turn around and she's like, whap, right there. Oh my God. <laughs> they're good. Can I help you with something? Oh no, I, I need a new pair of pants. You just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very right good. There. These guys, they pop out. They're like <laughs> gophers, man. They pop out of these. They holes. wear all black. Where the hell they're coming from? Yeah, these aren't first years, yeah, you guys. These aren't first years. They've been doing this a while. They're serious. Well, I, they, my, the exchange came to me. Mm -hmm. And then where she's here and we're talking about the chips and salsa, I think. And and I thought she said I love chips and salsa, so I said to the lady, to the ninja, chips and salsa. <laughs> real quiet, real appropriate like. Mm -hmm. And I said, Okay, the chips and salsa and she says, I hate tomatoes <laughs> about that fucking loud. Stops the comedian. So the comedian's like, what the hell? Turn. <laughs> I'm seeing glowing faces shining like fucking flashlights right at me. And I, it's me. It's coming from my general direction. And of course, they're all looking right at us. And I am fucking mortified. I care oh, not what no. we get. Yeah, so she'd never been to a comedy show, I guess, because, you know, so I call her Loud Tomatoes. Um, <laughs> I'm Loud Tomatoes. There were better ways. So, so there's there Rotten Tomatoes and Loud Tomatoes. Right, so. so I just didn't think we were going to work out, so that was a funny story. You know? Wow. So for me, it would have been the salsa, because it's like, if you're going to smell like salsa, I'm not kissing you. That's well, just... if you both eat it, though, then, then you're business. Just stank all night. Okay. Bingo. <laughs> I have rules. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. This They're is why standards. I'm single. There we this go. is why I'm single, because I have too many rules. Too so now, how rules. long have you been single? <laughs> single? Yes. Well, single, I've been for about three years. Okay. And no, you can't. I mean, you're, no, you're, I've had, I mean, I've been out there and I've hung she out. She gets hers, Chris. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> That's not what she I'm She gets hers. My mother is going to watch this. Oh. So. She don't get hers, Chris. She don't. I'm just saying, I'm just saying She's that. She's a good girl, Mom. She knows I am. Um, <laughs> she knows I'm not. Okay. <laughs> so, so. I'm glad you clarified but, that. But, no, I've been single for three years. I've gone on dates. I've actually done some repeats, you know. You, you know, you're like, repeats don't count. And then you realize they never changed, and you're like, never mind. Right. Yeah, we should have left it at last 10 years ago, you know? So, but, you know, like, yeah, I just, honestly, I, I after, like, maybe, like, six months ago, I, I decided, you know what? I'm just going to fucking love myself. Like, you know, oh, there there's you nothing go. better than just loving yourself. That's right. That's exactly that's right. It. That's exactly and right. And that's why I'm single. Now, have you, have you ever been with a guy? <laughs> I have. You yeah. have, mm -hmm. and that guy just told you're like, screw this, I'm going to, I'm going to cat. Um, do you want the honest? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, can be honest here. Uh, mom, mom, mom just went. To well, yeah, your for mom is watching. How honest do you? She just went. She just went to the mom bathroom. I've so dated. Just I've dated enough men mm -hmm. to know that it's not for me. Okay. Like every color. <laughs> <laughs> every um, you know. Yeah. You know, Five foot Size? tall, six foot tall, seven foot tall really? men, good men, uh -huh. educated men, you know, but um, just not for me. Just not for you. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't one of those weird things, you know, I was born a lesbian. None of that no, nonsense. I was born a lesbian. Um, you were. Okay. I mean, we don't, we don't have enough time to go into why I did that, <laughs> but, you know, uh, you know, out of respect for my family, 
it's what you know a lot of lesbians and gays uh they fall into this uh belief that that's who they're supposed to be and that's what i did for a very long time and then realized that you know i'm unhappy and i want to be happy and then got in tune with who that would you know be for me gotcha. and that would be you know i'm a lesbian so well that's very very cool I, that's nothing wrong. absolutely beautiful <laughs> Hey everybody, what's happening? C. Axel Cohn's coming to you from the Home Man Cave. I was just editing out this first episode. It's going to run a little short as we had some technical dish difficulties in the studio. So, uh, unfortunately, we lost the seven minutes of this first episode. Uh, the studio has assured me that they're fixing the issue. So, right now we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap it up here in the Man Cave so I can get this show edited and presented to you. Um, so first off, I do want to thank Luna and Angie Snyder Cobb for coming in studio and everybody coming out. Uh, we'll get back in the studio again here real soon and we'll cut some more episodes for season seven. So uh, without further ado, I do want to do my closing statement for tonight and uh, for the online dating portion. And uh, my closing statement is as follows. Ladies and gentlemen of the televised jury, I know there was a lot of junk run tonight, but there's no way I could get through this diatribe of online dating without mentioning blackpeoplemeet.com. Blackpeoplemeet.com. That's a bit discriminatory, don't you think? What if my fetish happens to be having a fake six-inch fingernail jammed up my ass, and as we're doggy styling it, I'm pulling out handfuls of braided hair. Can you believe I said that? Who are you to tell me no if I want to stick my dick in Precious's armpit fat fold and after I nut, get the finger wag, oh no you didn't. But I digress. The comical thing about blackpeoplemeet.com, everyone in the television ads are Lexus driving, suit wearing, wine sipping, sophisticated Cliff and Claire Huxtables. I'm sure there's no thugs on this website, huh? I have an idea. If police arrest quotas are ever low, law enforcement should fake post airbrushed nude Halle Berry and Dwayne Johnson pictures and set up a Chris Hansen-like sting operation at a local apartment complex and wait for the criminals with numerous warrants to show up with gallons of grape soda and pounds of weed. If there are any white people that are signed up on blackpeoplemeet.com, we need to sterilize their confused asses so they don't reproduce, and we end up with a new generation of Justin Bieber's. The prosecution rests. Once again, I want to thank Luna for coming in studio, Angie Snyder Cobb for coming in studio, and I hope you enjoyed the dedication we did to Autumn Marks. Uh, I said it in the studio as well. Autumn was a very dear friend of mine, and... Um, she will be missed, and I, there's nothing else I can say about that. So, Autumn, this one was for you, my dear, wherever you may be. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching tonight. And like I said, we'll get back into studio here very soon, and we'll get some more episodes shot for Season 7. That's all I got for now. If you have any questions or anything, you can always hit me up on Facebook, uh, C underscore AXL underscore C-O-N-E-S, or follow me on Twitter, and that is uh, the... Cone Zone TV, I believe, on Twitter. Either way, get a hold of me. We'll have some fun. That's all I got for tonight, and I'm out. We'll see you next time.